In our modern world, we're bombarded with advertising everywhere we go. One of the key principles of effective advertising is to make it memorable. But in such an oversaturated market, how can brands achieve this? One way is size. So join us as we take a look at some of the most creative ads using oversized objects. While the full effect can only be seen from above, this advert for frontline flea and tick spray is particularly nifty because it makes use of the public to get its message across. I'm not sure that passersby would be too thrilled about being used as fleas and ticks, but the end result works nonetheless. When you imagine the perfect sandwich, what you want is fresh, soft bread rather than weak old stale trash. In this advert by the Miami Ad School, a landing mat is transformed into a slice of Pepperidge Farm soft bread for a pole vaulter to demonstrate its softness. Gym equipment mats usually have to be soft enough to cushion a gymnast's fall, so the message here is pretty conclusive. Wrigley's Orbit Ice Mints are all about improving the freshness of your breath. So what better way to get this message out there than a giant cutout of a human face blasting cool air to promote its benefits? It's proved such a success in Austria that more installations are planned on other ski slopes. Created by advertising agency BBDO, this campaign aimed to promote office supplies by FedEx Kinko by showing off office supplies interacting with the streets of New York City. The giant highlighter pen coloring the sidewalk was just one of their installations. Others included a giant bottle of corrector fluid next to a pedestrian crossing and a giant office lamp. German advertising agency Jung von Mott were tasked with getting the word out about Mondo Pasta, so they came up with the idea of utilizing an often overlooked area on boats to advertise giant faces slurping on ropes meant to represent pasta. Great choice of location too, since the harbor is the most frequented place in Hamburg. This advert reimagines the Bic Razor as a lawnmower, with a giant version having freshly trimmed a line of grass. The billboard behind it is blank, apart from the Bic logo in the lower right hand corner. While effective, you have to wonder how much maintenance it will take to keep that one line of grass short. When Pantene wanted to advertise its new anti-breakage shampoo, what better way to do it than to replicate a story where a girl's hair was literally strong enough to act as rope. With serious Rapunzel vibes, the advertising agency responsible, Grey Canada, even added a fake person climbing the hair rope to hammer home the message. This giant cigarette outside the Vancouver Art Gallery aimed to draw attention to National Non-Smoking Week. The yearly death toll from smoking-related causes is much higher than those from car accidents, as shown by the damage caused by the 7-foot cigarette. In our fast-food-obsessed society, something that's bound to grab our attention is a giant box of french fries. Even if the fries are actually planks of wood in an installation for pest company Terminex. The aim of this advert wasn't to show the extent of our appetite, but rather that of a termite. The ad clearly illustrates the shocking amount of wood a termite eats per day in a relatable way. The only way to stop their insatiable hunger for your house? Clearly, it's Terminex. This advert for Mumbai, India was titled Climbing Shoes, and it's easy to see why. The shoes were placed in a variety of positions high above the woodland billboard with giant laces acting as a climbing rope. The advert effectively conveys the message that woodland shoes can be worn not only in regular outdoor pursuits, but adventure activities too. This giant tennis racket by Chinese advertising agency TBWA was used to promote the Tennis Masters Cup in 2006. The text underneath explains that the fastest tennis serve can generate enough force to propel a human in the air, which is conveniently demonstrated by the human tennis ball hovering above the racket. A giant bottle of nail polish isn't something you'd expect to see as you walk down the street. But that's probably why this advert promoting Rimmel's quick dry nail polish did so well. It ingeniously linked to its message and got a lot of attention by being on a busy London street. Still, hopefully it isn't that quick at drying in real life. To promote Tibbets, a large vegetarian restaurant chain in Switzerland, oversized forks were attached to trees in major parks and shopping centers to demonstrate the freshness of their food. With a growing demand for quality and fresh produce, turning to the beauty of the natural world is a great idea to gain traction. What better way to advertise a new and improved massive McMuffin breakfast than with a supersized food bag? This was the method employed by ad agency DDB in New Zealand, 
who placed an oversized version of McDonald's world recognizable food bag on a bus stop bench. It's as if it's just begging to be taken home with you. This Malaysian advert for Penline stationery is simple, but effective. If they're claiming that their tape is strong enough to hold up an entire billboard, you can bet it'll be strong enough to stick a piece of paper with the words, kick me onto your friend's back. Before I reveal the next example, you should subscribe if you're enjoying the video. We upload amazing fact-filled list videos daily. Also, make sure to click that bell icon to stay updated or you'll regret missing out on some amazing knowledge that could have filled your brain. Now let's get back to it. This advert, seen in Portland, Oregon, reimagines a sidewalk tree as a carrot stalk to promote gorge-grown farmer's market. You can bet that this larger-than-life advert sparked a lot of interest as it looks incredibly realistic from afar. If you've ever thought that subway turnstiles look like a mascara brush, then it turns out you're not alone. This ad campaign by Saatchi and Saatchi for CoverGirl Mascara played on just that idea painting the turnstiles to match the product and its benefits. If you're observant enough, you'd get the reference straight away after looking to the top and the sides. When McDonald's in Canada were running a free coffee promotion, they turned to advertising agency Cossette. The result was this, a not-so-regular lamppost serving up McDonald's coffee into an oversized version of their branded cup. If that didn't get people sharing pictures of the message online, nothing will. Zwilling pride themselves on producing super sharp knives, and this advertising campaign in Malaysia definitely illustrates that. The ad makes use of a giant Zwilling knife mock-up to give the illusion that it's sliced through a street lamppost. Martyr Solingen's tagline for this product is extremely sharp, and while a razor blade is certainly nothing to be played with, it's cool that they decided to take a comedic route for this ad. Displaying a hint of dark humor, an oversized version of their blade is displayed above a bunch of fake pigeons who have seemingly been sliced in half after trying to stand on its sharp edge. DHL devised a genius advertising idea, namely letting their competitors do all the hard work for them. They sent out packages which were covered in DHL branding. The hitch was that the branding would appear camouflaged in dark paint until it was exposed to certain temperatures. When the competitor companies collected the packages, everything looked normal. But this was no longer the case when they were taken into the outside air. Hilarity ensued when delivery drivers attempted to deliver the box with the effective message. Let's be honest, if you're feeling thirsty, an oversized mug is bound to catch your attention. This was the idea employed by Bigelow Organic Tea, who used their giant creation as a flower pot to emphasize the natural flavors of their tea range. A person blowing their nose isn't exactly a pleasant sight to see, but this marketing ploy by Kleenex definitely caught the attention of onlookers. This Kleenex van used a large piece of cloth to act as a tissue, which would blow in the wind as it drove around. This advertisement by Powerhouse Gym didn't pull any punches and was massive in scale. Utilizing a tower block which was under construction, their ad picture blended in with its surroundings to give the illusion that the bodybuilder was pulling the real-life cranes, achieving a fantastic result while doing so. Anchor Drills wanted to demonstrate the awesome power behind their product with this ad, and it definitely does just that. The drill escapes the confines of the ad picture, and an oversized drill bit is shown breaking through the wall behind the hoarding. This is one ad with a serious tone intended to demonstrate the dangers of not wearing your seatbelt in your car. As the advert shows, riding in the back seat of a car is no safer than sitting in the front, so it's important to take safety precautions if you don't want to end up being slingshotted. When Cafe Pele placed screens featuring people yawning at a busy train station in Sao Paulo, Brazil, people were slightly confused, but their aim was twofold. Studies have shown that when people see someone yawn, it makes them want to yawn as well. Yawning is also typically a sign of tiredness, so what better time for a steaming hot cup of coffee? Ingenious, right? This ad by TM Advertising in Dallas is clever because it's a two-for-one deal. Whilst advertising Coop's paints with a huge, colorful spillage, it also makes a point that life can get messy when you least expect it, and that's why you should have reliable insurance such as one provided by Nationwide. Sneaky, huh? What can be better than a giant drinks dispenser? Well, a cool shower on the beach on a hot day, maybe. This was what awaited beachgoers in Brazil when Sprite unveiled this advertising campaign. Before you ask, no, it wasn't actually Sprite. It was water coming out of those showers. But who cares? Great job of showing just how refreshing the product was. This is another ad that appeals to our sense of comedy. 
whilst every other feminine hygiene advert centered on women pursuing active lives whilst on their periods. This ad campaign by Leo Burnett Agency dared to think of something new, with the Hoover Dam renamed Tampax. Sure, it could be considered a little vulgar, but I'm sure you can all see where they were going with this. Which oversized ad did you think was the most ingenious? Let me know in the comment section down below, and thanks for watching.